Hello folks, welcome to bispetrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you how to write a custom SQL query and how to make your custom SQL query dynamic by using parameters. So we are going to use continue the same model um, as we discussed in the previous session. What is parameter? I'm going to uh, explain you once again. So parameter are dynamic values uh, which you can replace with constant and make your workbook dynamic. So by passing parameter your workbook changes, the value changes and this way you can make your entire report dynamic. Today example I am going to show you how to write custom SQL query and with the filter clause will make it dynamic. If you look at my SQL query, uh, I have mentioned over here highlighted with the blue color, the product line value is equal to the value of parameter. The value of parameter will be supplied by the user. So dynamically whatever user what a value user passes, my complete SQL query render accordingly. In today's example also, we use the same sales order processing model. It's a subset of our whole model. Um, in order to easy to understand, I made only, I keep only few dimension and one factable. So it's a snowflake model. We have got only one factable called sales fact, time dimension, product, and region. My store dimension is further normalized to store and region. So let's get started. We'll create this model first. So I'll connect to my data source. My data source is MSXS and Sales Data Mart. It's MSXS Data Mart, and uh, I'll be selecting Factable Sales Fact and other dimension. Add dimension, product, store, time, region. period days and last one is product is left I'm going to select product as well product and I go to custom SQL I see the complete custom SQL has got rendered I copy and paste over here and now I want my query should be filtered dynamically so I add a where clause where product line I can do it directly over here click on preview section go to the bottom and I want filter to be applied on my product line so where I will pick up my column the column name is product line mm -hmm. yeah this is the column if you want constant you can specify constant value like I want constant books only you can apply constants but in this example we want to use a parameter so I can click on insert parameter if you already have a parameter it will list out over here as in my example there is a parameter called para select product I'm going to show you how to create a new parameter as well click on new parameter name it para product line selection it's a string type and the value of this will be coming from my source so from where it is coming from I can define the field it is coming from my table called product line column so right now it has only one value called books I wanted all the value of my product line should be appear over here so I once again select on insert create new parameter define a parameter name para product line and uh, the value of product line is string and I want the value to be coming from a database so I use add from fill product line so far it has got three value books music and video I can have my own value as well the parameter got selected got created I'm going to add this parameter over here go to the bottom write a where clause where product line equals to parameter parameter value there's an option called insert parameter I'm going to select the one which I just now created called para product line and click OK OK mm -hmm. 
we'll check the from clause yeah I think we have got something extra this now this is perfectly now so let's select product line um, product line product family and I want to further uh, divide by different countries so I'll select country over here and by default your parameter doesn't display I'm going to select my parameter product line and show parameter control so parameter control display over here I also like to display my sales so it depends upon user requests whatever value you pass over here it dynamically change right so when I'm selecting books my custom SQL query the value of my parameter books and accordingly my report gets rendered when I select music the value takes music videos it takes videos so that's it for today thanks for joining today's session subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos should you have any question please feel free to write to us thank you and have a great day ahead